Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Uh, this is John with the SNE Project. Today I'm going to go over my bug out bag, and um, this is still a work in progress. I just wanted to go over it, what I have now, and uh, see what suggestions you guys could give me uh, just to make it better. I mean, obviously, it's always uh, improving, uh, always changing things, taking stuff out, putting stuff in. Um, it's always changing. Um, and one thing that has changed uh, the most is the bag. Now, as you can see, this is a, uh, mo uh, not a Molly, an Alice, uh, an Alice pack rucksack. Uh, the reason I went to this is because of the amount of gear can hold and uh, how comfortable it is to me. I mean, I would prefer a, uh, a, a standard Molly uh, rucksack over the old Alice pack, but uh, for th for the price, this is what I got my hands on. I mean, you know those new rucksacks are expensive as crap. I mean, uh, hundreds of dollars for one of those rucksacks. Even used, they're a hundred dollars in uh, surplus stores. And uh, I got this from Michael, and I do believe he got this at a surplus store. I'm not I'm not uh, too sure, but um, he's he sold he sold this to me, and uh, I loved it ever since because me and him go on uh, ruck marches a lot. Uh, every time he comes over, whenever we do videos and stuff, we go on ruck marches. And uh, it's a blast going going with him because I mean uh, we can both keep up with each other. Uh, no one's left behind, so it's it's always a fun time. But I'm going to go ahead and go get started real quick. So uh, as I said, I changed over from uh, from another bag to this, and the bag I changed over was the was this um, civilian uh, hiking pack. Um, and this is a great pack. I'm not going to lie, a great pack. Um, this is more of sort of like a day. Uh, or an overnighter kind of backpack. Uh, I mean, it's not, there's not a lot of room in here. Um, and I don't know if you can see my uh, dog, my uh, bulldog bacon here, uh, joining me on the video. Um, yeah, that's my bug out dog, uh, also along with Frenchie, uh, the boxer. But anyway, uh, this, it's a great bag. I mean, it's really comfortable. It's an internal frame bag. Um, the waist, waist straps are great. Uh, they've got these pockets on there which you can put a lot of gear in. Um, and then it's got the uh, the chest strap, as I call it, the chest strap, uh, you know, just to keep it more secure. Uh, it's got a uh, water bladder pocket in the back so you can, you know, integrate a water bladder in there. Um, but as I said, this is more of, a, a, of an overnighter kind of bag because there's not a lot of room. Uh, I'm not sure you can see in there, but there's n not very much room at all. Uh, it's pretty slim, uh, but this... It's a great pack. I mean, this is the Skyline 8.0 from Outdoor Products. You can get it at Walmart uh, for about 30 bucks. I'm I'm not sure. It's been a few years since uh since I got this. So, um, but it's still in great condition. It's a really really good bag. Uh, I might do a review over this in uh in the near future. If you guys are interested, just let me know in the comments if you are interested in this bag. Um, but yeah, this is the bag I switched over from. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the contents of my bag. Now before uh, I get started too uh, too far into the bag, there are a few things missing, but that are on the standby, that are on red, or that are ready for me to grab and deploy as quickly as possible. Um, and me and my family, we try to practice uh, getting out of the house with whatever we can grab in five minutes. And what I mean, I can I can grab a whole lot more, um, but what I train myself to grab is water. Uh, a good multi-tool, and um, my fixed blade, which is actually being sharpened at the moment, so it's it's on the other side of the uh, bedroom, and I don't want to walk over there out of the video and go get it, uh, so, because I just found it as I was about to start the video, so, um, but yeah, that's also what I grab. Uh, those are, the reason I would, I would grab those, the reason they're out is because, one, I use them a lot, two, um, if I had just to grab those items, I could grab them and I could uh, hopefully, uh, with the training I have, survive for at least three days. Um, that's just with the training that I have. So if, I mean, if I could manage uh, to live for three days uh, with just those those uh, materials, um, I could do so. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on the pack. So as I said, this is the Alice Rucksack. Uh, that Michael uh, sold me uh, for a really, really cheap 30 bucks. Um, great, great pack. I mean, as I said, we go on ruck marches a lot every time he comes over. Uh, it's just a really, really great experience. Uh, it's really, really fun. 
Um, and also, people think we're in the military, so I mean, we get a lot of props with, with that too. So, uh, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Starting on the front, uh, you see this little strip of gray here, and this is a reflective tape because not all bug out situations are get out and hide. I mean, some of them are um, some of them are uh, natural disasters where you need to be found. And if you're out trucking at night, uh, this and someone shines a light over here, they'll be able to see this little strip here. Um, also, with uh, you know this little red light over here, which I'll show you in a little bit, uh, be great signaling. Also, uh, just while I'm on the signaling, um, while I'm on the signaling uh, portion, I have this uh, orange bandana that's tucked in behind my back when I'm walking. So if I do need to hide, it's hidden away. But I have this orange bandana which covers uh, the top and a little bit of the back of the rucksack and some of the sides just so I'm able to be seen from, from the air and uh, as I'm walking because you can still see the reflective tape and you can uh, also see the orange bandana. So th that's a, a good way of signaling. Um, I'm trying to get some, uh, more, some more flares from, um, from Walmart. Uh, they were great flares. I think they last for uh, two to five minutes, I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's been a, it's been a while since I've used them, but uh, yeah, they um, they they run for about five minutes, uh, and they're they're really great flares. Uh, Walmart also has a a flare gun, which is uh, really nice. Sorry, I'm trying to prop this up so you guys can see it better. Give me a second. Alrighty, my fault. There you go. All right, um, let me scoop that in the frame. But yeah, that's for signaling. Uh, I, I'd recommend uh, putting some some uh, reflective tape on uh, your bags, and this can be easily removed. I mean, all I have to do is rip this little duct tape off uh, and pull it through, and it'll be off within seconds. So, um, yeah, he he's really interested in this, as you can see from how uh, tired he is from me talking. Uh, moving on, uh, I'm going to start on the side. Uh, I'm going to go to the side now. Here is a uh, molly attached uh, ISAC and the reason it's molly attached is because I haven't got around to get uh, to getting Alice um, Alice pouches so I just went on went ahead and threw on my um, my uh, molly uh, ISAC and you know I have a review on that if you guys want to go ahead and check it out on the channel I believe it's our second video here uh, in the SNE project, so go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Uh, moving on, uh, these three pockets up top here, I uh, only keep in these two pockets a few items, and then I leave this one open in case I want to throw something in there while I'm on the move, say a uh, multi-tool. If I wanted to grab that real quick, throw it in there and get out, I could do so. Alrighty, uh, in this pocket here in the center pocket of the, uh, of the three up here, carry box and matches and you'll see why. Uh, now here is an Esbit uh, stove, a uh, German made stove. It's a great, great stove. I actually just got done uh, burning it, uh, burning uh, one of these fuel cubes uh, to make some petroleum jelly cotton balls. Um, as you can see from the burn marks in there. Uh, this is the first day I've, I've used it uh, and so far it's a great stove. I mean uh, there's still a lot of testing that it's going to have to go through, but so far it's really good. And uh, all of the cubes, all six cubes can fit in there, but as I said, I used one, so it's only five. But all six can fit even uh, even without the box because the fuel cubes do come in a box, but I took the box out. So, uh, yeah, that's the Esbit stove. I got this at a military surplus store for uh, $7, I believe. Uh, it's a great deal. Uh, you can probably find them on Amazon and whatnot. Uh, but it's a great deal. You should check it out uh, if you don't have one. Uh, this pocket here um, is just some grab-and-go snacks from an MRE. Uh, you know, you got a few drinks. Uh, you got uh, an orange, uh, an orange mix. You have two orange uh, base powder mixes uh, from an MRE, and then you have a brownie with chocolate chips. Uh, these are really good. I got this out of a uh, beef ravioli MRE. Uh, they're 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 really really good. Um, and some people say MREs are disgusting, but you never know what you can find in them because some MREs actually have M and M's in there, uh, and they're really good. Alrighty, 
Uh, moving down here, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I'll take it out in this center pouch here. Uh, I've got my fire starting kit, which uh, it has one of my Altoids uh, stoves, some petroleum jelly cotton balls. Uh, it's got some some index cards on the bottom for easy fire starting, a uh, match container with matches, uh, and some dryer lint. Now, uh, I do have a pocket survival kit, which I will be taking apart, uh, just so I can uh, use all of that in this bug out bag. And I'll also be making a new one, just so uh, I can carry it in my backpack uh, for school, just so I can survive with those little items if I can, uh, if I if I needed it, if I need to. Now here is a um, rescue blanket, quick quick reach if I'm with a group or if I'm with myself, I can just throw the pack off, uh, I know where it is, I can just go ahead and grab it and uh, keep myself warm or keep whoever I, uh, I need to keep warm. Um, and I am the medic in my group, uh, the group I'm uh, with at first and when I meet up there is also another medic uh, with the group I'm going to meet up with, so uh, I'm not a professional medic. Uh, by by no means should you guys uh, think of me as a professional medic, but I do uh, have my um, share of skills. I do know what I'm doing, um, and I also am certified, uh, which I actually do need to get recertified. But um, I am one of the medics in in the first group, and then when we meet up, there are so uh, we'll have two medics in the group. So if one of us goes down, we have two. We have another one, or uh, if one one of us is busy, we have another one to uh, help out. So. Great thing to have in your bug out bag, quick and quick reach, is a uh, safe uh, rescue blanket to keep yourself warm. Uh, now, the, the last thing in this little pocket here uh, is a few little goodies, and the reason I did this is because I know where it is, and I know exactly what's in here. So first of all, I've got a, a regular beanie to keep my head warm. Now I tried to go with uh, mostly civilian gear in my pack, and I know it's a uh, it's a military style bag. Uh, so if I do need to look threatening, I have that there. And also I have military clothing, which I will be bugging out with, whether it be some multicam, uh, AC, I mean, uh, uh, Army combat uniform, or uh, uh, some tactical pants. Uh, that's what I will be bugging out with, but I do have a set of civilian change of clothes in the bag itself in case I need to look uh, more civilian. Um, now, under the beanie, I have this uh, canteen cup, and it's got it's got about 10 feet of paracord wrapped around it just in case I need it. Uh, now I've got one of those little packages you come with an MRE and it's actually open. Uh, this just comes with uh, you know matches, some uh, tea, iodized salt, uh, some uh, toilet paper, uh, you could use it for or a napkin, some gum and some Tabasco sauce. One of those. I love these things, the little Tabasco sauces. I love those things. Um, next is a compass, great compass. Um, me, uh, Michael, and I have used these in the field a lot uh, when we're marching and whatnot, or um, uh, map reading. A great compass. Uh, you can also shoot azimuths with it and whatnot. Uh, it's a great compass. You, you can get these at military surplus stores, U.S. Cavalry, on online. Well, you can get almost anything online. Uh, last but not least, in this little cup is. A, uh, the, sleeve, a, the sleeve of a t-shirt and the reason for this is if um, I, this can be in a water container so basically just to uh, filter all the big stuff since it's a uh, since it's double layered um, you can put both layers together cover the top of it scoop water and it'll get all the dirt and whatnot out fling that off and you've got well still dirty water but cleaner water than it was and then that, that just basically stuffs back in there uh, and it keeps from it, uh, this stuff keeps it from uh, rattling around, uh, like the MRE packet keeps it from rattling around and whatnot. And that that just rides in here. Uh, and the reason all of that all that miscellaneous stuff is together is because I I know where it is. So because um, that's just how it's been packed for a long time. But um, that's what's in that little center pouch there. Alright, on this side over here, I'm not sure you can see that, uh, it's sort of the same. Uh, this is where I keep most of my clothing. I'm going to try to speed it up a little bit, I, wanna, I don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long. I've got a uh, micro fleece beanie, uh, military issued micro fleece beanie. I've got a uh, an OD green boonie hat, 
Uh, I also have a uh, ACU camouflage, uh, I mean a digital camouflage boonie and a multicam. Uh, here is a sniper veil, which can also be used as a scarf, or if I needed to camouflage my stuff even more, I can put that over it and you will not see it. I can cover this with leaves and whatnot just to make it look like a, a little pile of leaves. But uh, a sniper veil, good thing to have. Uh, also, a good thing to have would be a shamog, which I am getting hopefully soon. Uh, as a, you can use it as a scarf, uh, a bartering item. Uh, also, I've got a video on bartering items. I'm pretty sure I do either on this channel or or, or on my own channel, which is BC1066. Um, so check that out if you want to go ahead and if you want to uh, check that out if you're interested. All right, on the other side over here, this is where I keep most of my books. Um, I have the. SAS Survival Handbook by John Lofty Wiseman. As you can see, there is a bit of use to it. I've had to tape it up a few times. Um, a uh, marker, permanent marker. Right in the rain notebook. And a pen. Now, I'm going to integrate a pencil in here. I just never got around, got around to doing it. So, uh, that will be in here. All right, I'm going to move to the back before I get to the contents of the bag. So here on the shoulder straps, I just got this uh, wind-up torch flashlight. Pretty bright LED, uh, nice flashlight. Uh, and then I've got that bandana here on the back. And it's uh, covered by my by my back, so you won't be able to really see it much. Alrighty, now let's get to the contents of the bag. Alright, so this rucksack has these compression straps, really large compression straps. Now, as I said, this is a work in progress, so if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, let, please let me know. I will be willing to put, to test out uh, whatever you guys are trying and to put it in here. Bacon, I'm doing a video. Excuse me, dog. Alrighty, so on the top, got my uh, hygiene kit, U.S. Army hygiene kit. Roll out. Got everything I need for hygiene. It's a really nice thing. I got this uh, uh, on a good deal for three bucks. Not bad. Next is a canteen cup with uh, another one of my stoves which has been used as uh, as you can see and a pot holder slash windbreaker now the reason these are paired together is here's the stove uh, and basically how this works is you put the windbreaker around it and then you set the canteen on top and that will that will uh, keep it held up so you can cook now I will show you a better video on that uh, in the near future uh, if I have time. All right, next is my cutting tool. Uh, it's the SOG uh, Tactical Tomahawk, which is a great hatchet. Uh, it doesn't have to be a tomahawk. It's a great hatchet. Uh, that's mostly what I use this for, is for chopping wood and whatnot. Now there are a few items in here that you guys might think are stupid, but just in case, uh, this is mostly for natural disasters, but this can also uh, be used as a uh, bug out bag if, in case of, uh, you know, since the government has been shut down momentarily, hopefully momentarily, but uh, if, you know, for some reason we get gassed or whatever from our government, uh, there are, there's some equipment here that could help me with that. Uh, but next is my sleeping gear. This is a, uh, you know, just a random sleeping bag. It's uh, because it's there. Regular down sleeping bag. Uh, I, I don't know the the warmth rating, but um, it's it's all right. I'm trying to get one of those uh, military grade sleeping bags, the uh, three part uh, sleep system, just because they're they're great. Uh, Michael has one, um, and he has let me use it uh, for like five minutes just to see how it felt. But it, it's really really warm. Um, I mean. He said he sweats every time we camp out. He said he says he sweats. So, anyway, moving on. Uh, I've got a chemical uh, jacket in OD green. 
and this is all, this can also be used as a warmth tool. Uh, if I'm if I am cold, I can throw this on over my uh, over my shirt uh, to keep me warm, and then I've got the matching pants to go with it. Bacon. You like interrupting my video? Alrighty. Next, I've got my gas mask kit. I've got my Israeli gas mask. I've got the filter in there. Uh, I've got the uh, straw that can, connects to a canteen. I've got the chemical glove set in there. It's, uh, and it's, it's good that it's all in one little uh, container. Bacon. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, next is my food. Now I've got, I've got about for me three days of food in here, but um, that's just me by myself, depending on who's with me. But uh, what I have here is uh, two MREs. Move bacon, bacon. Excuse me, excuse me. I got two MREs in here, um, but it does. Uh, they they each come with two little. Containers. One has like Mexican rice, and the other one has beans, and then beef ravioli, and then uh, it's got some. Uh, it's got a toaster pastry in there. Um, so that's like a main course kind of meal. And then I've got all the other breakdown items in here, like the mixes, the the, the jam, the cheese sauce, all that, all that good stuff. And all, both of these are wrapped in saran wrap. And they are in um, plastic bags. They can. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, they are wrapped in saran wrap and are in Ziploc baggies just to keep them protected. Sorry about the hat. Bacon's a little bit uh, curious. Uh, here is a change of clothes. There are a pair of jeans in there, a T-shirt, two pairs of socks, one wool and one regular, and then a pair of underwear. I've got a BDU jacket and then wrapped inside of the BDU jacket. Got a fire starting log for easy fire starting. Got my height uh, my uh, dental kit. Uh move bacon please. Then I've got a miscellaneous kit with uh some stuff to keep uh, entertained. I've got some tums, some cards, towelette and some matches. Just some random stuff in there just to maybe barter if I needed to barter with somebody. And then lastly, got a uh, civilian style jacket. Really, really nice, warm uh, fleece jacket, I believe. Uh, nope, 100 polyester, 100 nylon. Uh, but it's uh, really warm uh, and it's also reflective, so if I need to be seen, I can also use this and throw it on. All right, guys, so that is, let me show you, excuse me, that is all the gear, uh, counting the dog, so that's all of my uh, bug out gear. Please, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know uh, how I can make this bag better. Uh, if I need to take anything out, please let me know. Uh, this is still a work in progress, so um, uh, I, I would love to hear your comments just to see how uh, I can make it better. And because of this government shutdown, you never know what can happen. So, uh, anyway, uh, say bye, Bacon. All right. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please email me or Michael at snepjectllc at gmail.com. We will feel free to answer any of your questions. And if any of you guys have commented on any of our videos uh, with a question and we haven't got back to you, um, please try again. We will try to get back to you as soon as possible. So, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I uh, hope you guys have some really great comments. Thank you guys for watching. Say bye, Bacon. See you guys in the next video. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.